She's making her music her way. It's her journey. For the record with Laura Milano. Now on Radio Disney. For the record with Laura Milano. Ex- exclusively on Radio Disney. Hey, Radio Disney. It's Laura Milano. For years, you've seen me on Austin Alley pursue my career as a, as a musician. But now, it's finally my turn to actually go out and make my album. You know, it's been a really an amazing journey, and I wanted to take you on this journey with me. Because it's a lot more work than you would realize. So, really, this show, for the record, with me, Laura Morano, is about what it takes, exactly what it takes, to make your dreams come true. But in order to know where you're going, you got to know where you've been. So I am really honored to announce that my first guests are from literally the most ex- amazing experience of my life. Austin Alley, the cast, Ross, Rainey, and Kayla. So happy to be here. I'm so happy for you guys to be here. Honestly, it means so much. You guys are so special to me. And, you know, I want to kind of discuss a lot of things. First, obviously, Austin Alley has just aired. Yeah. This is kind of our after party. Yeah. Yeah. It's awkward. What a sad, yeah, awkward sad after, party. after party. Okay, so I just want to begin kind of talking about our show that is like ended you know we have so many amazing mer- uh, memories we grew up together Ross and I learned to drive Rainy um, does not know how to drive fine. still um, still doesn't know how to drive how old are you? Does it matter how old I am? Yeah, I, I think so. I'm 22, and I still don't it's know fine. It's fine. fine. You guys learned, and then I didn't have to learn because then you guys gave me rides everywhere. <laughs> exactly. That's, That's how perfect. that works. I planned that. Caleb still hasn't voted in a, an American election because he's Canadian. No, he's Canadian. That's true. That was a big milestone. Oh, not voting. I voted for the first time. That was cool. Yeah, that was yeah. awesome. That was cool. I had my sticker and everything. Yeah, that was incredible. We celebrated your sweet 16. Yes. On and Ross's. Yep. And yep. But I had a birthday party that Caleb and Ross went. Rainy, um... Yeah. That was, like, that was a very the, special party. I don't know if you guys recall what happened that day. It was pretty fun. Woo! But there were a lot of things going on. <laughs> I'm going to just cry during this interview. I know, me so. too. And now don't, it's over. <laughs> your mustache is ridiculous. <laughs> your <laughs> is falling off. Yeah, okay, don't lick it. Okay. Caleb, don't lick it. Okay. God. It might make oh, you yeah. a piece For the stronger. record of everybody watching at <laughs> home. For the record. <laughs> with Laura Morano. We grew some sweet mustaches. Yeah, They're we did. awesome. And I dyed my No, light. I think it would have been funnier if we didn't mention that you guys put the mustaches and that. Cut to a song. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to For the Record with me, Laura Morano. So, guys, um, I want to kind of go back to the beginning. Let's rewind. Let's rewind a little bit. Sound effects. So, you mean to like the conversation we just had? Or? Yeah, exactly. Like, just repeat okay. the exact actually, thing? Actually, a few, a little bit further. Let's do a few years. Let's do we'll before. No, 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 no. Uh, like, a long time ago. Like, a few years ago wasn't when we just introduced. It's before. Like, before we knew each other. Yes, before the show, even. Oh. So, like, what kind of, do you think that there's anything building up whether it was acting classes voice lessons obviously you had your band um things about Calum just so everyone knows Calum was actually an amazing he still is an amazing pianist and he won a composing competition when he was 12 years old didn't, for piano did he also win yeah. an acting award yeah, yeah. like a Canadian and Caleb's like actually he was like the bomb dick he's the real deal and then he yeah, went just, say, he's, he's normal. I think the pants throw it off on TV but in real life he wears serious pants. Yeah, he knows no big deal. I'm my pants today. I mean, no socks even. You have no oh, socks in your shoes. <laughs> but I let's talk Not about... Or because you were <laughs> late. <laughs> Whatever. Mustaches. Let's talk about kind of what that process was. So, like, you were obviously doing... Learning guitar. Learning piano. Learning... How many instruments can you play? Um... I'd say, well, I can play guitar, drums, and bass, and um, piano, too. Yeah, piano, I was going to say. Um, yeah. And then I can, I, you can experiment on it pretty First much anything. First season, you were actually learning violin. Yeah, I can play violin Second season, decently. you were learning French. Yeah. And so. No, yeah, no. Can I, you play French I know, violin? I know all those things <laughs> to a certain degree. No, I feel like Obviously, I Obviously, I haven't, I can't speak a full, like, like is the there whole one thing? Is there one thing you would pinpoint and that you feel, like, helped you with your auditions for Austin Alley? Um, well... I think probably for most of us, excluding Caleb, I think one of the most um, <laughs> specific details that got us all the part was just ourselves. Yeah. Um, yeah. Bec- especially, like, while I was auditioning, <laughs> Shelly... Well, you were the no one want to die, are you? <laughs> but while, while we were auditioning, I just remember Shelly being like, hey, just just be you. That's that's exactly what they want. And I was like, I, I, I think I can do that. <laughs> um, no, but and then as obviously as the show went yeah. on, the character, characters developed, it, it changed a bit here and there. But that's one of my favorite things about Austin Alley it was it was like actor's boot camp. Yeah. Totally. And also, but so much. Also, people, I mean, people might know this about you, but you're also like doing dance competitions like beforehand. <laughs> I mean, you're like, yeah. you're, seriously. I was, I was on So You Think You Can Dance like three times. That's yeah. insane. Like, that's amazing. 
Hey guys, what's up?、Uh, you're back with me, Laura Morano, for the record. Do you guys have any favorite memories or favorite like mementos? I was、set? just thinking about、uh, this. Okay, good. <laughs> And I'm、I、gonna, I'm gonna、so、embarrass、good. myself a little bit. No, it's okay. Yes, But, please.、Um, obviously, there, obviously there are, there's an abundance of great memories.、Um, But one thing that,、uh, that really, really ever happens to me is me being embarrassed. Do you remember that day? I had a, I had a big zit. Oh my god! The prom! You're talking、like, about prom. Everyone freaks out. I know, no, but it was、Not、like、me. the worst I've ever had. It's been a.、Uh, it's a Canadian skin. Yeah, it's Canadian skin. It's a Canadian, Canadian water. Just,、uh, you know, no, but I just remember that day for some reason. It's terrible. No, you know what?、Though? It was really funny. I, it's so funny when you. <laughs> it was. It was really、sympathy. funny. It was funny. That's not a miracle. It was funny because you were laughing about it. I remember so many times when I had, like,、oh, even I had, like, a big performance or something, and I had the biggest, like, pimple or something, and I was just like, hey, everybody, here I come. Nobody hey, look at me or、hey. my face. Does it actually introduce you? Yeah. <laughs> I, I totally remember that. Okay, what, that about, good, what about good memories? That was, that was a good, that that was was a memory. good memory. Oh, I mean, break out. Oh. Remember, remember during the Halloween episode when we just like、Which、could、one? not stop?、Uh, oh my gosh! Sec- third With season, Rich, Rich Carroll,、okay. yeah, Rich Carroll's、yeah, yeah, yeah. episode, yeah, yeah. we could not stop laughing. <laughs> like, and every <laughs> single thing that we did just kept making us laugh more. And then, and then Laura couldn't say, <laughs> couldn't stop, say, don't make、um, me say it. What's the word?、Don't. Rotten, rotten. And I thought、oh, she、yeah. said, and、rotten. she was rotten. And I thought she said, say I can't say T O N or T E N words. Say, say cotton. What's this right here? Um, it's a. Uh, apparatus that you have on your suit. Wow. Okay, say button. Button. <laughs> <laughs> button.、Oh, you're getting better. You're getting better. I've been practicing every day、wow. by myself in the mirror. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, and then Laura, so then she so can say a, the words. And okay, wait, there's a bunch of things that happened there. So, so many first, things. So, first, we had a few、um, background artists who. More back, and I don't know what、oh, exactly happened.、No. That was、yes. what was funny about it. Ross was walking in, and then someone opened the door, and he was there, but he was kidding. No, 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 no. And then it、I、was think, like, I think, I think Caleb opened the door, and was like, oh crap, someone's changing there. And I was like, really? And then I went and opened the door. Yeah, because he was trying to be、I、funny. And I was and trying to be funny, and there was actually someone in there. And I was like, oh. Yeah, you're like, oh, I thought Caleb was kidding. And then the next time, di- and then our dialogue coach came in and was like, oh, guys, stop laughing. Like, you guys、yeah. are being so unprofessional. And, and then we told her, and then we told her the story, and as we're telling the story, someone. Walks out of the changing room. <laughs> didn't know that the person was in there、I、the whole、no、time. Look, like we、no、checked、one. all the doors and no one was in there. Then all of a sudden, this person just like opened the door and like stared at us. And we stared at them and then just laughed. And then we got yeah, to yeah, set. And then we got、bad. to set. And you couldn't say rotten. And then we kept laughing. And then everyone was like, "Do you guys need a moment? Should we cut?"、And、we're、no. like, "No, no, we got it. We got it." From songwriting to the studio, she's sharing it all. For the record, with Laura Morano on Radio Disney. You're listening to For the Record with Laura Morano, only on Radio Disney. Guys, let's you know, let's talk about our our favorite memories, our our favorite mementos. One of my favorite storylines is when、uh, Trish got to be the pop star in What Ifs and Where's、yes. Austin, and I got to like sing in that big green dress, and I was like,、that、to was the、awesome. tune of like I'm finally me, and、yes. I was like, You wish you were me. That was, that was amazing. I love that one. That one was really funny. Oh my god, that performance was it was one of my favorites. It was great because I had that. Set, I don't even remember the set was so weird. It was、awesome. great,、oh、like、gosh. the stage that I couldn't walk on because it was built like、uh, like a ramp. Yeah, and I couldn't walk up without falling in my big high heels.、So、I just had to stand See, there. I feel like Caleb and I got close in that episode because you had like your star stuff. I did. And I had to be my own. Caleb and I were just like, yeah, hey. There are certain, epi- but that's what I like about it because it's, it's really cool because there are certain episodes where like we have like the you know the dynamic of like us four all. Together in every scene, and then we have some words like Austin and Allie, or like Trish and Dez, or、yeah. like you know Trish and Allie and Austin and Dez, or rare occasions Trish and Austin <laughs> and Allie and, and Allie and Dez, which hardly like, happened. It was but like two it years later, and it was yeah, it was like we didn't realize that we were ever in a scene at、yeah. the same time together. <laughs> yeah, it was like two years later, we're like, oh, it's the first time I actually hung out with you, just you and I. I know. <laughs> it was yeah. yeah. Same with with、uh, with Ross and I. I. I rarely, rarely ever even spoke to your character. I know, it, unless anybody <laughs> else was like. <laughs> The, exactly, but there's a whole other storyline. Like Austin <laughs> hated his manager Trish, and like they、yeah. never really like spoke no, directly to each other. No, but I always said, like, remember the pilot when she was like, "Hi, I'm Trish, big fan." Like we never went back to that. That she was like、True. a huge fan of、right. Austin Moon. Then no, she just but, became really well, sassy. I think she, and, like, she was so she was so fast to change. She saw、her. those dollar、yeah. bills, and she yeah, was like, "I gotta、mean. get on this train." Hey, this is Rainy Rodriguez, and this is Kayla Morthy from Disney Channel's Austin and Allie. We are taking over. We'll be playing our favorite songs and taking your calls, talking all about the Austin and Allie finale. With us this Thursday at 5 p.m. Eastern, 2 Pacific, only on Radio, Radio Disney. Disney. Hey guys, it's me, Laura Morano, and we're here with the awesome cast of Austin and Allie. Woohoo! 
So guys, let's you know, let's talk about our our favorite memories. One of my all time favorite Austin Alley moments, probably forever, will be when uh, uh, Director Des. Oh, oh God, yeah. Director Des is my favorite. With the scarf and the hat and the, hat and the beanie, yeah. so funny. <laughs> I remember so that was awesome because I was really nervous about that because it was like I really wanted to work. Yeah. And you guys were always really good about that because like sometimes we do things on the show where it's like a long scene or it's a long monologue or there's a yeah. lot of stuff that we gotta do. We've got to nail all these comedic beats. And I think that the four of us were really good at like supporting one another. Yeah. And then you guys were like this is like episode six or something. It was the, yeah, it was the crap episode. It was the clause yeah. and the nun. Mm-hmm. And I remember you guys like stepped up to the plate and like really supported Aww. me and like Aww. really helped me out. Well, well I, I want to commend you. you because I feel like you really inspired I'm speaking for you too but I feel like you inspired all of us to like be funnier and to go over (laughs) lines constantly like you were so on top of it you guys thought I was insane yeah we did we we still laugh at you and we still make fun of you a little but it actually I think really motivated us to go over our lines and like we were like shoot Caitlin like Caitlin's on top of it like that's that's another reason why I think Austin Alley was so successful is because we were we were all fairly professional obviously um, still growing up but I'd say uh, among the most professional of our age range, right? Caleb was already 20. But I think since he was older than us and we saw him as an example, we constantly stepped up our game. Yeah. And then oh, as yeah. we would step our game, it just it was just a stepping stone. Oh, yeah. We work really hard. Yeah. And well, I think that's make... why our set was so smooth. All well, the time. yeah. And, you know, four best friends off screen to play four best friends oh, on screen. Stop. Hey guys, what's up? It's Laura Morano for the record, and my best friend is the cast of Austin Alley. Okay, so we've talked about the past, we've rewound, we've talked about the present during shooting of Austin Alley. So now let's talk about the future. What's next for all of us? A lot of crying. A lot of crying. crying. A lot of crying. No, I'm just gonna hang out here in the studio with you. Good. Every I'm gonna be. I have this radio show for the record with Laura Morano. Cool. Hey. Um, do you guys, I know you guys are constantly working. Kale, I know you have a few projects. I do. Well, the first project of mine is to uh, get your album as soon as it comes out. Oh, yes. stop it. I've already got it pre-ordered. Yeah, yeah I don't even know how he did I'm it. I'm helping it's... to plan her concert, so, yeah. so well, well, awkward. Me and your mom have it coordinated. She's gonna, she sent me like Classic, 10. Classic, yeah. Ellen yeah. and Ross, mm-hmm. am I right? Yeah. So, like, calm down, guys. We get your friends. You yeah. don't have to like... <laughs> oh, yeah. Pushing her yeah. Stuff. <laughs> you have no idea. But you weirdos. Know, we were to the Disney World. You guys were riding rides together. Yeah. yeah. Weirdos. That was That's so funny. Okay, how about Miss uh, Director, Musical, Actress, Rainy Rodriguez? I'm working on more directing stuff. As a director, you know, you have the privilege of working on such a talented show like Austin and Alley with all my amazing cast members and crew. And so I had the privilege to direct, as you all know, because, you know, you guys were there. And uh, and so now I'm working on that more, directing more other Disney Channel shows. Can we just right. say directing. you literally rocked it? Thank that literally. Like, Thank you. One of my favorite episodes, actually. Well, you guys well, were like awesome. Yeah. I'm going to listen to your radio show to see exactly what it takes to make an album. <laughs> Good. And then I'm going to go make my own album. <laughs> this show is actually just for Rainy. It's, it's just, just for me. all for me. And I'm going to follow in Laura you know. Ronald's footsteps because no, I love you. Um, <laughs> yeah. And then I'm starting my own production company with my ah, brother. Woo! Working on more behind the scenes stuff. So, yeah. Nice. Okay. Ross Shore Lynch. So, uh, pretty soon I'm going to Japan for a few weeks. <laughs> wow. Um, and then Australia and New Zealand for a few weeks. That's crazy. Uh, all this will be uh, an R5 tour, obviously. And then I spend another month in the U.S. touring. I'm going to do a lot of cities, or a lot of That's states so we haven't awesome. been to. Can you give us free tickets? Like, yeah, can we get the hookup? I give you guys free tickets all the time. No, you don't. You give Caleb free tickets. Yeah, Caleb has never given every concert. You guys have to like one or two. By the way, thank you, Ross. And then after that tour, the touring, since we've been on tour for about nine months, we get to, uh, I'm going to go to, to to Vancouver or somewhere in Canada for about a month or two to film a movie called Status Update. That's amazing. Wow. I didn't even know that. Yay. Yay. See, we don't know that. Let's go to movie. For, for the, the record, record. With Laura Morano. Exactly. Um, uh, okay, so, you know, as you guys may or may not have known, I've been like working on this record for a really long time and kind of uh, forming my sound, what not. You know, because I think you can definitely say it's like your sound really kind of goes from one place to another. I know three years ago, it was, yeah, it, it was kind of sound like Kalem. Um, uh, also kind of sound, it was a little Sarah Bareilles I I don't know. You just seem like a Sarah Bareilles type to me. Caleb. Thank you. <laughs> You're well, welcome. That's a Colby Cole, but sure. sure. <laughs> He's very trained. <laughs> yes. And then it kind of went to like kind of Cynthia One Republic Land, and now it's, you know, I like to say if Maroon Five and Five Seconds of Summer had a baby, I'd be I'd be the baby. Aww. Aww. Thanks, Scott. 
So that's so what, that's kind of where that I'm is. Excited. What what made you so influenced by that genre? I think I um you know I've grown up playing piano, so kind of piano pop was like the automatic thing to me. But as I kind of formed, I realized I like a little I like a little guitar. I like a little more rock action. But I love I love me some synths, some synthetic instruments. Um, uh, and so it kind of made the most sense to marry the two. You know, have the kind of synth pop world with Maroon Five, but still have the little like pop rock edge with uh, with Five Seconds of Summer. So when you play live, are you going to be playing instruments as well, or just performing and singing? Or? In fact, I'm actually doing both. I'm going to be playing on keys, but I'm also going to be uh, playing on mic, which obviously I'll be doing on the keyboard as well. But um, yeah, you know, I feel. I love playing piano, so it's definitely... And you're really good at it. Oh, stop. Guys, thank you so much. I honestly could not have better guests for my first radio show, and I I think you guys are so amazing, and I wouldn't want any other person besides you guys, so... Aww. We could not agree more. Well, we I love, love you. you. <laughs> We're so proud of you, Laura. This, like, worked out perfectly. No, nah, yeah. It, we wouldn't have missed it. Absolutely. I love you guys, and you guys came with mustaches. And, we did. We did come with really mustaches. really nice outfits. But on a serious note, I love you guys, and I know... With this experience, like I know for a fact, we're gonna stay friends for the rest of our lives. So, oh, I love you. And I'm love so excited us. you're here. For the record, you guys are really, really awesome. We're like a family now. Okay, now I'm gonna hug you guys. Okay, now we're bye, guys. <laughs>